Today we're going to learn about algebra fraction word problem. Let's say we have a problem like this. Candle A and candle B were placed on a table. Candle A was 1.5 centimeters longer than candle B. Candle A and B were lighted at 6.30 a.m. and 8 a.m. respectively. They burned down to the same length at 10.30 a.m. At 12 p.m., candle B burnt out while candle A burnt out at 12.30 a.m. Given that the rate of burning of each candle was the same throughout, find the original length of each candle. So as we can see here, we have a table with candle A on it and candle B on it. And as we can see, candle A is 1.5 centimeters taller than candle B. Now, we know that candle A and B were lighted at 6.30 a.m. and 8 a.m. respectively. So candle A was lighted at 6.30 a.m. And candle B was lighted at 8 a.m. Now we know that they burned down to the same length at 10.30 a.m. So let's say that they burned down to this length here. At 10.30 and then we know, oh, let's make this line better, and then we know that candle B burnt out at 12 p.m. So candle B burnt out at 12 p.m. While candle A burnt out at 12.30 p.m. Now, we know that from 6.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m., candle A burnt down from here, from this length to this length. It took candle A four hours to burn this length, to burn down from here to here. And it took candle B from 8 a.m to 10.30 a.m., which is 2 hours, 30 minutes, to burn down from this length to this length. Now it took candle A from 10.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. to burn, to completely burn out. This is two hours, which can be written as 120 minutes. And then it took candle B from 10.30 a.m. to 12 p.m., which is one hour, 30 minutes, which is equal to 90 minutes. Now, let's name this length here as A. Now, if we name this length here as A, then that must mean, and because they burned out to the same level here, then the length of from here to here is also A. Because they burn down to the same length at 10.30 a.m. 
So we know that speed is equal to distance over time. So this means that the speed of candle A is equal to the distance, which is A, over the time, which is 120 minutes. So, the speed of candle A is A over 120 minutes. And the speed of candle B is equal to distance, which is A, over 90 minutes. So, the speed of candle B is A over 90. So, we know that the distance is equal to the speed times the time. So this means that the distance, which is A, is equal to the speed, which is SA, times the time, which is 120 minutes. 120 minutes. And here, A, which is the distance, is equal to, A is distance, is equal to the speed, which is SB, times 90. This can be rewritten as 120 SA and 90 SB. Now, we know that the measurement of both these A's are the same. So, this means that 120 SA is equal to 90 SB. So, 120 SA is equal to 90 SB. Now, let's get SA by itself. To do that, we have to divide both sides of this equation by 120. So we get 120 SA divided by 120 is SA is equal to 90 SB divided by 120 is 3 fourths SB. Now, let's say that the length of candle B is B. It's lower case B. Is B. So this means that the speed over speed is equal to distance over time. So the speed, which is SB, is equal to the distance which is B over the time. So the time it takes to burn for the candle to burn out B, which is 2 hours 30 minutes plus 1 hour 30 minutes, which is 4 hours. And SA is equal to, now we know that candle A is 1.5 centimeters taller than candle B. So it's equal to B plus 1.5 over, and we know that it takes 4 hours plus 2 hours, which is 6 hours to burn out. So it takes 6 hours to burn out. Now, we know that SA is equal to 3 fourths of SB. So, 3 fourths, so 3 fourths, let's leave some space here, 
3 fourths of SB is equal to B plus 1.5 over 6. So let's get SB by itself. To do that, and let's leave more space here. B plus 1.5 over 6. So to get SB by itself, we have to multiply both sides of this equation by 4 thirds. So, 4 and 4 cancel out and 3 and 3 cancel out. So we get SB on this side of the equation and 4 and 6 are both divisible by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2 and 6 divided by 2 is 3. So now let's rewrite this equation. We get SB is equal to Let's multiply 2 with b, and we get 2b plus 2 with 1.5, and we get 3 over 3 multiplied by 3, which is 9. So sb is equal to 2b plus 3 over 9. Now we know that sb is equal to b over 4. So we get b over 4, let's rewrite this equation up here, instead of using sb, let's use b over 4. b over 4 is equal to 2b plus 3 over 9. And now let's cross multiply. So, we get b times 9 and 4 times 2b plus 3. So 9b is equal to 4 times 2b is 8b plus 12. So let's get the variables on one side and the numbers on the other side. And before that, let's shorten these arrows. So let's subtract 8b from both sides of this equation. And we get, let's, how about we take out these arrows. And we get, nine b minus eight b is b is equal to eight b minus eight b cancels out and twelve so b is equal to twelve centimeters so the length of candle b is twelve centimeters now let's write that down for our answer so, candle B's length, original length, is 12 centimeters. Now we need to find the original length of candle A. So we know that candle A is 1.5 centimeters taller than candle B. So, candle A is equal to candle B, which is 12 centimeters, plus 1.5 centimeters, which is equal to 13.5 centimeters. So, candle A is equal to 13 Point five centimeters.
Today we learn about algebra, fraction word problem. Thank you for watching this video.